time for Shower Thoughts on Rock 107. Those moments of clarity we all have in the shower. People who snore could spend up to one-third of their lives annoying somebody else. If courtrooms had a live orchestra, it would make things way more dramatic and interesting. Santa could murder the entire country in our sleep if he wanted to. Stay tuned for more Shower Thoughts with Prospector on Rock 107. Breaking the news that's already broken. It's time for Prospector's Briefs on Rock 107. Today is National Milk Day. I was going to churn out some lame milk puns, but that would be utterly ridiculous. The Chicago Bears fired their offensive coordinator and a bunch of other coaches yesterday. I swear, they fired so many. I saw Yogi, Boo Boo, Winnie, the Berenstein Bears, and Fozzie all on the Bears fired list. Travis Kelsey is nervous about getting Taylor Swift the right Valentine's gift. I would be too. An entire album may depend on it. It's 60 minutes meets gone in 60 seconds. Tune in tomorrow for Prospector's Briefs on Rock 107. 2024. Yeah, something that it ceases to exist, even though virtually no one was really aware it was still even out there in the first place. Here it is. The makers of Fruit Stripe Gum announced it's been discontinued after an incredible 55-year run, which is amazing considering the flavor didn't last 55 seconds. The gum was uh, has zebra mascot, bright color zebra stripes on the gum. Rappers had temporary tattoos in them. You might remember this commercial from the early 1990s. Yikes! Stripes! Fruit stripe gum! It's a yummy, fruity one! Stick a stripe of fun! Stick a fly and flip flop! Go a woo a pink pop! Yikes! Stripes! Fruit stripe gum! A really, really wilder! A ton of fun of mala! A flavor overloader! Wild fruit exploder! Yikes! Stripes! Fruit stripe gum! Yeah, that's a commercial that would have made me stop eating fruit stripe gum. In honor of fruit stripe gum, and its death, I somberly present the top five things overheard at the funeral for Fruit Stripe Gum. Here we go, number five. If this funeral's anything like its flavor, this won't take long. Top five things overheard at the funeral for Fruit Stripe Gum. Number four, I heard it was killed in a drive-by chewing. Number three, life chewed it up and spit it out. Top five things overheard at the funeral for Fruit Stripe Gum. Number two, Bazooka Joe wanted to be here, but no weapons are allowed. And the number one thing overheard at the funeral for Fruit Stripe Gum, the burial will take place when they wad it up and stick it under a table. There you have it. It's time to have a little fun on the phones. Good morning. I'm Rock 107's Prospector. And today we're going to pick up the phone and call somebody from the Rock 107 Freeloader Club and invite them to play a game on the air, a game with a lot of prizes that there is no way they will win. Uh, we've picked Daniel out of the Rock 107 Freeloaders Club. We're going to give him a call. It's another Prospector prank call on Rock 107. Hello. Yes, hello. We're calling for Daniel Giles. Yeah, this is me. Daniel, congratulations. You're our first contestant on Rock 107 Paper Scissors. Would you like to play? Who is this? My name is Prospector, and you've been selected to play a Rock 107 radio game show over the phone using our familiar game, Rock, Paper, Scissors. But we call it Rock 107 Paper, Scissors. Are you in? Wait, who is this game? Am I, am I on the radio? It's the radio game show, Rock 107 Paper, Scissors. Would you like to do it? Yeah, I'm in. I'm in. All right, let's do it. Here we go. I'm ready. Okay, so you win $1,000 if you can beat me at Rock 107 Paper Scissors. Is your hand in a fist? Yes. All right, here we go. Call out what you've got. One, two, three. I got scissors. I had paper. Congratulations, Daniel. You just won $1,000 on Rock 107 Paper Scissors. How do you feel? Just like that? $1,000 yep. just like that? You just won 1000 bucks, and now you can take that money and walk. Or you could risk the 1000 and go for $2,500 if you could beat me in another round of Rock 107 Paper Scissors. Are you ready? I'm, I'm ready. I'm in. I'm in. All right. On the count of three. One, two, three. Rock. Scissors. Ah, you got me again. $2,500. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. All right. $2, now, congratulations. We oh, do boy. offer a third round for $5,000. You risk your 2500 and go for the big prize. $5,000. Are you interested? I don't know. Sorry. $2,500, that's a lot of money to risk. That's good money. Do you feel lucky? I do, I do. All right, let's do it. Do you want to do it? $5,000 on the line? Oh, you know what? 
Why not? All right, here we go. Yep, here we go. Are you excited? I'm excited. All right, here we go. On the count of three, call out what you've got. Let's see if you win. One, two, three. Paper. Scissors. Oh, I'm so sorry, Daniel. Uh, you lost. Wait, no, 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 wait. No, 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 no. You lost your $5,000, unfortunately. Uh, how do I know you put scissors? I just said scissors. No, no, yeah. I, I don't. Who is this again? My name's Prospector, and you're playing Rock 107 Paper Scissors. No, Unfortunately, no. no. You're, well, I can't yeah, bend the rules, so you lose well, I, your $5,000. I, I want to stop at 2500 Can I stop at 2500 You can't stop at 2500 You risked it all for 5000 but listen. But if you, I know if you want to try it again, I'll give you no, one more shot. No, I don't know. You know I, I, don't, I don't think this is, is real. This oh, is it's happy. real. Who is this again? I, My name's Prospector, and this is Rock 107 Paper Scissors. Okay, well, as long as you don't cheat again. I, I didn't cheat. <laughs> On the count of three, you call out what you got, and then we'll compare, well, all right? you got to call it out, too. I, I, tell you, what? I, I don't know what you call out until after I do. You heard what I called out. Did you not hear me say scissors? Five seconds later. All right, here we go. Are you ready? I'm ready. One, two, three. Rock. Paper. Aw, oh, oh. darn it. Okay, you cheated again. I didn't hey, cheat. You I won. Cheated. You, you've got to learn to live with the results, man. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Daniel, uh, you almost had scissors, but you chose rock. It wasn't close. Paper covers rock. Well, how do you know? Cheated. You said rock. You I said, said paper. Five it's obvious you're waiting to hear what I said. Well, why didn't I you said, wait to hear what I said? Because that would be cheating. And I don't Well, that's cheat. not cheating. That's how you play Rock 107 that's Paper Scissors. Cheater. We said it at the time, at the same time. You're a cheater. That's all. Awesome. But that's the way it goes when you play Rock 107 Paper you know, Scissors. I want, I want to talk to your boss. This is a scam. It's like you're in the middle of a prospector prank phone call on the radio, right? A what? A prospector prank call. What, what, what is that? What, it's a, the... Daniel, it's a phone prank. It's a prospector prank call. It's not real. This is not a real game show. Oh, man. Come on, <laughs> man. Yeah, it, it didn't make sense. Yeah. Somebody's Telling me to give me that much money? Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's really funny, though. I, I, I got to do this to my friend. Be <laughs> um. tough right now. There's plenty of bad news, but it's not all bad. It's time for the brighter side of Prospector on Rock 107. Two girls from Montreal, 13-year-old Zoe and 14-year-old Emma, are both strong swimmers. Emma actually hopes to make the Olympics someday and they were in the right place at the right time last week. They were on vacation together with their family in Barbados and could see a guy 150 feet from shore struggling to stay afloat. So they swam out on a boogie board and gave it to him, then managed to pull him all the way back to the beach. Thanks. We needed that. The brighter side of Prospector on Rock 107. I'm trying to help 44 and save some money. Good morning. I'm Rock 107's Prospector. Uh, I also upgraded my own internet at my house to save some money, but I got faster speed at a better price. I got a new router coming. I'm pretty excited. Now, currently, my Wi-Fi network is called Network of Joy. The college kids next door, they have Washington Honeys. I'm like, okay, that's kind of a cool name. I'm looking for a cool name for my network. I need a nice name for my Wi-Fi network, uh, so I'm looking for your help. Jesse, check it in on Facebook.com slash Angry Prospector. It hurts when I pee. Like, is an internet protocol. Nice. I like that one. How about you, Rock 107? Prospector, let's be honest here. Why don't you just call it Prospector's Pornhub? <laughs> is that what yours is called, by the way? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Rock 107. Hey, Prospector, FBI surveillance fan. <laughs> hey, is that your name? Are you using that one? <laughs> My buddy uses it. <laughs> uh, see, somebody's using FBI surveillance fan. Try to keep people off it. Dale says, call it password 123456 and listen to people lose their minds trying to use that to sign on. <laughs> Patricia says, mine is router66. That's a pretty awesome name. I'm looking for a name for my Wi-Fi network. What do you got? Rock 107. Hey, many years ago, we didn't have our password protected. Yeah. When we finally did, my husband named it No More Net For You. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, man. What's your name? Lisa. Lisa, where are you from? Vanling. Thank you, Lisa. I love that one. Leslie says we had Wu-Tang Land for a while, but now it's Poopy Pants because we let the kids name it. Both of those are fantastic names. Dave says, hey, Prospector, call yours any PA Yam Bags. That's a great idea, too. All right, I'm looking for a name for my Wi-Fi. What do you got? Rock 107. Uh, I'm thinking uh, I got 99 problems, but Wi-Fi ain't one. <laughs> oh, man. That might be my favorite one yet. Who's this? 
Uh, this is Josh from wilkes Bear. Josh, I'm so glad you called with that, buddy. Thank you. No problem, buddy. That is a fantastic name. Sean says, how about Prospector's Proctology Party Palace? <laughs> That'll keep people off that one. And Gary, uh, tell my Wi-Fi I love her. <laughs> World of Misdeeds. Nominee number one. You probably aren't going to spend Monopoly money without anybody catching on to you. But you might be able to get away with using fake movie money, at least for a month or two. A 41-year-old guy in New Jersey named James Leonard has finally been caught after passing fake bills at a convenience store since last September. Apparently, he'd intentionally go during busy times so the cashiers didn't have time to scrutinize the bills. Naturally, the bank wasn't fooled, but it took a long time to actually pin it on James and then catch him in the act. The bills were specifically designed for movie sets, and they do look a lot like actual currency. But they say, for motion picture only, in fairly large letters across the front and in smaller letters along the side. James passed multiple $50 and $100 bills before being caught. He's been charged with theft by deception and using a forged document. Nominee number two. The police never want to get a call about a stabbing because 99 times out of 100, it's going to be a bloody scene. But then there's that other 1% of stabbing calls. Police in North Texas had a call about a stabbing. When they got to the scene, they found a man slashing tires and stabbing patio furniture. Apparently, the guy was outside of a bar with a knife and was banging on windows and attacking everything in sight with a knife. Fortunately, that didn't include people. No humans were hurt or attacked. The guy was tackled by employees of the bar, and they were able to take away the knife. They held him down until the cops arrived. They're checking out the guy to see if he was on something or had some kind of breakdown. They also haven't said what he might be charged with. And the winner is... The guy who got away with using fake movie money as actual currency for months. What'd you think? They weren't going to catch you? You're counterfeiting money. They're going to figure it out. You are the Yam Bag of the Day, and we'll move on to Friday's Yam Bag of the Week competition. Keep it here for all the nominees for Prospector's Yam Bag of the Week, Friday morning on Rock 107. Thanks for listening to Prospector's Prime Cuts Podcast. Be sure to catch us live weekdays from 5.30 to 10 a.m. on Rock 107 or online at rock107.com or the Rock 107 app. A free download for your Android or iPhone. Subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher Radio, or wherever you get your podcasts so you never miss Prospector's Prime Cuts.